This is not bad. They have uh, plowed back the existing crop. Instead of taking away the whole crop, leaving a little bit and plowing it back, gets the some humus on it. But uh, look at this one. Here also they've cut the crop a bit short, but even this parthenium and other weeds which are there, which are considered to be poisonous, we can do tremendous things. When I was in the farm, uh, uh, there was a heavy cover of parthenium. I used these parthenium weeds to mulch, thick mulch for my coconuts and my mango plants. And I found uh, if I irrigate my coconuts and mangoes, after twenty-five days, if you dig just with your hand about six to eight inches, it would be damp. So almost once a month if I irrigate, it was enough. That's how it became simply using the parthenium. So any vegetation, any green leaf means photosynthesis. It is you are judging what is useful and not useful in terms of what you can eat and cannot eat, but that's not the way to look at it. Every… every leaf, green in color means it is in that phenomena called photosynthesis where it's generating carbon sugars with the help of solar power. That is a boon. You can use any kind of weed to enrich the soil. So this has to come. We don't have to treat one plant as friendly and another is not friendly. All plants which are green in color are doing this phenomena called photosynthesis. Using the perpetual energy of the sun and constantly enriching the soil with carbon sugars and carbon material, we must understand all life including you and me are carbon life. Carbon is not a bad thing, do not just go by textbooks and think carbon is a bad thing. No textbook is saying that, but people are understanding that way. No, carbon is the basis of life on this planet. It's got to be in the right place, that's all it is, it must be in the soil.